hidden away behind the hospital, away from prying eyes, trying to relax. It's not easy. They're under constant surveillance for signs of Ebola. We have specialists observing them for 21 days, and if there are no symptoms, we will let them go. Two weeks ago, Mali recorded its first Ebola case. A little girl who traveled over the border from Guinea to the capital Bamako, and from there to this town and this hospital where she died. Everyone here had contact with her or contact with someone who had contact with her. 79 people in all and a quarantine. So far, none of those under observation have shown any symptoms of the Ebola virus and authorities are confident they can handle any new cases that crop up. On the streets of Kai, life looks normal enough, but there are a lot of worried and confused people. They say Ebola came to Mali. I am not happy. It is propaganda. It is not true. I cannot say much about it because the disease is from Guinea. The disease is real. We have seen many examples in Sierra Leone, Liberia and Guinea. They are though united in the hope that Kaya avoids an outbreak. So far, it has done so. Still, health officials have opened an Ebola treatment center just in case any of the 79 fall sick. Robert Nagela, CCTV, Kai, Mali.